Greetings traders, I'm back. It's Monday, September 29th, 2014. Just using a little code one today. I'm going to be taking the one trade per day strategy soon. Just watching what the code is doing here. Code one is uh, pretty easy today. You know, I was going to take another code one entry, but uh, we're getting a little too close now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to take any more entries. And uh, let's just take the one trade per day strategy as I've been doing. And we'll just I'll just focus in on that trade now. So I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back and we'll take that trade again today. It's a great trade. Especially for those of you who are just beginning and stuff and, you know, you don't have a lot of experience with getting in and get out. Like today, I had to get in and get back out like, I don't know, four times today or something like that because I, because I had to take a small loss on it and then turn around and go back in on another code and, you know, make a successful trade. But, you know what I mean? Especially when you first start off, like if you don't know exactly if you're just free trading it or whatever. So, um, so anyway, I'll come back and we'll take this trade. It's an easy trade, great trade. It's good for a beginner. It's good for anybody. I could even make an argument and say, why should you even bother doing anything else? If you can just take that one trade and just make, make what you need to make. Why bother with anything else? I mean, I, I can make that argument very easily. But uh, some people love doing this. Like when I first started, I used to love doing this. Like a video game you make money at. But uh, yeah, like anything, you get burnt out on it. So anyway, I will uh, be back shortly. For those of you who know what this trade is, I'd just like to, you could take a look at it. And I thought for sure it was going to be a long signal. But now it looks like it's possible it could be a short. I mean, it's come coming into the realm realm of possibility. But on the daily chart, it's straight up, it's straight up red or uh, green bar, and we're at the top of that green bar on the daily. And the ten minute, we are right next to the top. The top is at like sixty two, roughly. Well, actually, you can see it right there on the one minute. You can see it at sixty three. That's the top of the daily right there okay so we're sitting right at the top of the daily right at the top of the 10 minute looking to see what the code will say and uh, now see now it's possible remember I tell you how, how uh, you know you could go halfway well if you look at it you see halfway right but it didn't it didn't uh it did not activate a signal yet though usually you wait for it to activate the signal then let it go halfway it didn't do that it it didn't activate but it went halfway already now if it does activate a signal from here it would be a better chance that it would keep on going instead of coming instead of going halfway again see what i'm saying because it already went halfway. The whole point of that is to is a, is a fake. Uh, if it already did the fake, then it doesn't need to do it again. See what I'm saying? It just keep on going. That's another way to mathematically narrow it down through a process of elimination from what's already happened to increase your mathematics. There are many ways to actually use this in trading, like real real trading, like stocks. 
there's actually really solid ways that you can mathematically get an advantage over the market and then take advantage of it during that time and um, or in that way and you know when done properly it, it certainly works really super good of course with the code you, on futures like oil especially code 2, code 2 is good for what? Uh, Hundred and sixty, hundred sixty uh, ticks today, off code two so far, and we're probably going to get another long signal here, and it's going to go up more. Probably be worth two hundred ticks by the by the time the day's over. Um, let's see, what was the euro good for? Euro was good for. The euro was good for nothing. Yeah, I mean maybe twenty ticks, maybe, but that's that's basically nothing relative to the code two. That's nothing. That means it didn't even move. But the uh, USA moved one hundred and sixty. And we'll see what this one does. Let's see, we did 100, 140. It's already done 160. It may, it may, it may even just uh, die here, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. This thing should go up and give a signal, and it should move. I, I'd say at least 20, maybe more. This could be one of those where it moves 100. Nah, it already moved 160. No, I don't think so. No, but maybe 20 or 30, 40 maybe. Or it might not do anything. Because remember, uh, Friday, of course Friday is slower, but Friday it, it just did one, it did 40 plus 100 was 140. Today it's already done 160, so it's already done 20 more than on Friday. You see? It's only good for a certain amount of ticks every day, up or down. And you can calculate those as well to know what's basically left. Did you just hear what I just said? See, in a closed system, <laughs> there are so many different... tells so many of them in fact I could show you scientifically mathematically on a chart that's but that's what I'm gonna start doing I'm gonna start offering a charting service again and I will take you on a edu uh, scientific educational uh, expose of the code and I will show it to you on another level so that you could become an absolute master using it. Because what they're doing now is they think they're smart and they're throwing in these, um, how would you put it, uh, what would be the proper terminology for it? Not a landmine, but a, a um, hmm. I'm having trouble thinking of the proper terminology to call it. But it's where you would set somebody up to think it's this, it's this, it's this, and then they change it to this. But if you were to look at it, you would see that what they changed it to still was there the whole time. It's like a setup. But there's a specific name that I'm thinking of, or not thinking of. Actually, I am thinking of it, but I just can't remember it. But there's a, there's a name for that.
anyway, they think they're smart by putting that in, but like everything else, you can use it to your advantage. All you need to know, all you need to do is be able to see it and know what it's going to do. And then you have them be. That's the whole th that's the whole thing about all this, right? So what I'm going to do with the charting is I'm going to always keep you on top of everything that they are doing. It's going to be much more sophisticated than the previous charting. And even though the previous charting, everybody said it was the best thing they'd ever had to, for this. It really, really helped them. But this is going to take it to a whole nother level. This isn't going to, just going to show you the code. I'm going to show you the code within the code. All the setups. Mathematical setups. So that you could look at this mathematically from now on. Just 100% look at it mathematically. So that you don't even see these bars anymore. <laughs> I'm using the matrix as an analogy. You know how he says, I don't even see the matrix anymore. I just see a girl... You know, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to do it so that you don't even see this chart anymore. You just see the math. And we're looking for the mathematical setups. And then you're going to know exactly what's going to happen mathematically. How would you like that? Well, it's no problem for me. It actually, you know, it's a service. It's going to take me, you know, a lot of effort to do it, but it'll really help you. Like, for instance, I taught you the math of the code, which is really easy, real simple, right? You know, whoever programmed this, you know, I mean... <laughs> The program behind this is ridiculously simple, like as if Mickey Mouse had programmed it. But the real genius in it, in this programming, or the effort is, is in making it look like it really trades. That they did a very good job of. A very good job of. And it obeys much of the normal laws of trading. Which makes oil nice to trade even if you don't know the code. Because it obeys the laws of trading. Much more so, for instance, in the Forex does. Which seems to go against the laws of trading constantly. And then when it does do what it's supposed to do, it does it so fast that you don't get a chance to get in. So, you know, it, it, it just it makes it super hard to trade. Make money from, I should say. You can trade it real easy, lose lots of money, but it's hard to make any money from. Whereas this is much different. Even if you don't know the code, it obey it. You know, you can play double tops, triple tops, double bottom, all different kinds of stuff. Play breaks. You can you can do all kinds of different techniques that normally work on a normal trading environment, and it works on oil too, to to a to a, to a uh, very large degree. I mean, you know, you could do pretty good even without the code. As long as you know something about trading and have a little experience, you can do pretty good even without the code. Obviously, with the code, it's a whole other ball game. But what I'm going to do is take it to a whole other level, and I'm going to show you the actual. I'm going to show you mathematical setups within the chart show you how they work all you have to do is look for these setups and then you'll know what's going to happen it's in many different ways also show you the process of elimination so you'll be able to measure everything by ticks see what see what it's running each day I'll do all that for you in the charting service then you'll be able to look at it and be able to see then you can see what what it's run today what what it's run so far what it's going to be good for that type of thing Know if the other ones didn't move, this one will, in a big way, that type of thing. All different kinds of ways to analyze it so that you can really become an expert at this. And do so not 
arbitrarily just in an ever-changing code but on a more of a precise mathematical level with how how it really works how it's been programmed so I just showed you the rudimentary part of it now I'm going to show you the detailed part of it so that you can become a master at this and stay on top of it the whole time they change it I'll, I'll, I'll know exactly what they've changed it to I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video I think there's a decent chance this thing might not do anything because it's already run 160 today and it may just that may just be what it's good for because let me think the other one the other one did 40 and then it did 120 that's 160 yep 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 it's been running 160 I think it's out of gas it's got no more gas today now but if but if let's say if it was running 200 then you'd know that this one would why because the euro didn't do nothing the euro did nothing today 20 ticks it wouldn't even count 20 ticks that's that's basically it didn't move it went sideways I mean 20 ticks would be from the best possible exit you could get it, it, it didn't do anything um, so so all the move was in was in the uh, last code and so it may be out of gas now so I'll pause it if it does uh, give an entry I'll take it and I'll come back on on video otherwise I'll show you the ending and this is going to be another day where this trade didn't didn't produce an entry um, you'll find that there will be periods of time like that where it will do that and then you'll also find just the exact opposite where it does it every single day so it's going to go back and forth between those two a little bit and you'll be able to see it every day on camera you've always got the option of playing the other one it was good for 160 today I grabbed a piece of it you know I grabbed a piece of it for those of you uh, code traders out there that are familiar just take a look at where it is and you'll see that they threw in a little bit of uh, a change but start following that change now it's a piece of cake just go take a look So anyway, um, you know, it, trading itself is a pretty hard game. Real trading. Since this isn't real trading, it makes it considerably easier. You just have to come about it in a different way, which is to learn and follow the code. Anyway, I'll be back. We'll see if this thing gives an entry. But right now, I'd say there's a pretty decent chance it won't. But we'll see. It's getting late in the day here. Uh, I'm getting real skeptical that it's going to give a trade. It still might. It still might. And if it does, it still will move up quite a bit, I think. Well, at 20 ticks at least. But I'm getting skeptical that it's going to give one. It um, it's already moved 160 ticks today. And that's what it's been doing. So if it moved any more, it would go beyond what it normally does. It's probably not going to do that. It's more likely it, this this trade or this this is going to die here, which is what it's done so far. It's probably just going to continue. I'll come back in uh, maybe 10, 15, 20 more minutes, and if it hasn't moved, I'm just going to call it a day. And you'll see that this trade does this. It'll die for, you know, maybe a few days, or even maybe a week, and then it'll come back, and it'll be active every day for a week and or two weeks, and it'll kind of die down a little bit. just goes back and forth a little bit. So you'll see that as we go along. But um, all that matters is, is that it comes, and when you take it, you win. That's really what matters, right? So, and it's an easy trade. So anyway, I'll come back in a little bit, but I'm just tell you right now, it's going to be, it's not going to do anything. That's why for those of you who really want to make the money, you're going to have to get up earlier than this. Well, for on the East Coast, you guys got it made, but you know, you have to get up earlier than this to make some money at this. You know, play code one, or ideally play the code two. 
could have made 160 ticks today. Or, you know, let's just say you could have grabbed 100 out of it. I grabbed something out of it, but I got up late. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, you just got to get up. I'd have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning or even earlier to get ready for it. I'd be ready at 6 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, that's... It can be a little tough. So anyway, I'll come back in just a little bit, but I can just tell you right now, it's not going to do nothing. Okay, so I am going to call it a day. I can just tell it's not going to do nothing. It already moved 160 ticks. You can basically bank on that. You really can. That's part of the whole thing. Is it's there's it's not just the code, but it's also ticks as well. That's part of the code. So I'm going to start teaching that in the charting service. We're going to take this to a whole new level. So, um, for those of you who want to master the code, charting service is on the way. Okay, so uh, I'll be back tomorrow for this one trade. I've got to show somebody that this is real tomorrow, I'll give them a demonstration. So I probably won't do any of my own training, but uh, I'll, I'll be back for this one trade. It, it most likely will come tomorrow. I mean, it might not. It might die just like it did today, but most likely it won't. But it might. You never know. But mathematically, it'll be there. Okay, be back tomorrow. Happy trading, traders.